Well, good morning. It is New Year's Adam, and uh, that's the day before New Year's Eve, because, you know, Adam became before Eve. And um, in the process, uh, this is day two of, of uh, filling up the beds, uh, uh, bed one, um, bed two, the long one in the back here has already been filled, what, several weeks ago. And uh, bed one, I cleared out, this is where we had the massive okra trees, um, old cucumber plants, uh, just all kinds of stuff. But uh, you can see I've actually gotten a lot of it already filled and I figured I'd, I would uh, record just a little bit of the filling of it to show you my process. Uh, one thing that um, I what really wanted to show was how to fill raised beds. And uh, um, I had a number of people comment that have come over here on tours that uh, said, boy, these must be really hard to fill. And I'm like, no, not really. And you see, there's a little catwalk right here next to it. And I just, it's just a couple cinder blocks high. And you're gonna see me wheel the wheelbarrow up here and dump it very easily. This is the way to do it. Uh, and now also another thing is, and <laughs> this is kinda um, silly. Uh, I have a light wheelbarrow. And the, uh, the natural thing is, oh, I gotta get a big strong wheelbarrow. Well, the problem with a big strong wheelbarrow is it weighs 500 pounds? Well, not 500 pounds, but you'll see me tossing this real light one around. Uh, and uh, it actually holds one tenth of a yard and uh, I can empty it and it's the plastic. Uh, I've had it for a while. I've actually mixed cement in it. It's not good for that anymore because it's got a little bit of cracks in it, but um, it's light enough that when I dump it, it's really easy to lift up and take back down the ramp. And uh, I was gonna show you just a little bit of that. Um, here today as I'm finishing up this bed. Uh, I did get uh, compost uh, two days ago um, at the equestrian center. I got probably about four, four and a half yards of it in my little trailer and it's very light and fluffy so it's not like I had a load of sand, that's for sure. But um, I'm filling this again with pure compost, okay? <laughs> and I know if you've been watching my videos, I've been all over the place with this, okay? I know it, I'm gonna accept that, I'll own it. Um, I started analyzing, I was over here pulling ginger, and you rem might remember there were ginger right there about where that rake is. Um, I was pulling the ginger and I was looking at the soil and that I thought was all compost, but interestingly enough, there's actually a lot of soil in it and uh, it, within the, the, the compost. And uh, I thought, oh, this is very, and I started picking it apart and feeling the grit. And uh, uh, you could feel the organic material, which is great for holding water. And uh, maybe too much water if it wasn't a raised bed like it is, but the raised bed, it, it uh, siphons out very nicely. I mean, the, the moisture in the soil all this past year has been just beautiful. Uh, but, uh, so I am still gonna get some, uh, sand to add to this. Um, I probably end up putting a, about two inches of sand over the top of all, both of these beds. And um, bed three has already been filled. Um, I'm still deciding on what to do with that. But bed one and two, definitely, I mean, they were the ones that were down 14 inches or more, uh, particularly like, and I remember in that corner over there of bed number one, um, it was almost 16 inches down just in the corner. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was major. But uh, anyway, so uh, I'm Bowtie Dave. Thanks for coming along. If you're just finding uh, this channel, uh, please subscribe. Don't miss stuff that's coming out. Uh, we talk mostly about gardening and sometimes about life. And uh, appreciate you watching the video. Uh, and if you're returning and have us have already subscribed thank you so much i can't begin to express how much that helps the growth of the channel and uh normally i wear a bow tie for those of you who don't know normally i do wear a bow tie uh today i don't i'm not and uh 
um, because I'm doing work around the house. Bow tie, I'm, I am a handyman, bow tie handyman. And uh, yep, I wear a bow tie when I'm working as a handyman, whether I'm on a roof. Well, I don't touch roofs actually, so forget I said that. I get on my roof because it's my roof. But uh, no, I don't touch roofs at all. But whether I'm up a ladder or painting or crawling under a building or whatever, um, I wear, generally wear a bow tie and whites. So uh, anyway, um, all that being said, I, I do ramble, I know. Here we go. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. shoveling compost, energy management, measurements, and so forth. Um, first of all, measurements. Uh, I use a shovel and a fork, pretty standard. Um, it takes about 10 shovels or forks to fill my wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow is kind of an average size. About 10 wheelbarrows to a yard. It's not exact, but it's pretty close. Now, a yard is Imagine a cube of soil or cement or anything else that gets measured in yards that is a yard tall, a yard deep, and a yard wide. That's three feet, um, just under a meter. But uh, uh, so that's roughly how I measure. Uh, this load was approximately four and a half yards. I could tell by the how full the trailer was. It just been practiced at it and so that was somewhere between 40 and 50 wheelbarrow loads that I just finished obviously didn't have enough I'm gonna have to go back for some more to finish this bed which is okay because I figure in a week or two um, those high spots over there are gonna start settling it's expected and uh, I'll get this filled in and probably put two yards on this and bed number two is has already sunk about two inches maybe three just getting settled in and 
Uh, so I'll probably end up putting another yard across the top of that unless I do the sand instead. I have to figure it out. If I do sand, I'm gonna, I will be just roughing the top and getting it in just a, mixed in just a little bit. But uh, um, anyway, uh, so as far as energy management is concerned, uh, you notice I don't have a huge wheelbarrow. The, 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 I think that, you know, the th logical thing, get the, get the biggest wheelbarrow you can and do it as fast as possible. Well, the challenge with that is that you wear yourself out. And uh, I get wore out a lot easier. My knees and hips um, hurt sometimes. Uh, about uh, 12 years ago, I ran two marathons in one day, my first and my last. And uh, it, uh, the training for that, 14 month training for that kind of was hard on me, but it was, the, it was actually after that that I tried to continue um, at least walking and uh, did some, some damage to the joints, the knees and hips, but I'm, I'm okay. Most days I'm good. Some days I have to decide whether I'm going to climb a ladder or not. But uh, anyway, don't think you have to go get the biggest wheelbarrow, folks. You don't. You really don't. Get what's comfortable and uh, spread out. You're, you're, you're not in this for a race. It's a, it's a long haul. Uh, this is somewhere between 40 and 50 yards of compost that I've moved out of the equestrian center. And that's a lot. And uh, that's, yeah, I think over 500 wheelbarrows worth. Uh, most of it went here, some of it went down to the church building, which isn't far from here. But uh, anyway, the other thing is m moving, physically moving uh, soil and compost. Now, if you're moving well broken down soil without a lot of organic material in it, by all means, use a shovel, a round nose shovel. I've got one of those too. Uh, and it really makes quick work of it. But as soon as you start getting a significant amount of organic matter, we got a storm system moving in, so I'm trying to get this recorded. Uh, but a lot of organic matter, and trust me, these loads have a lot of organic matter in them. Uh, a lot of uh, wood chip, uh, more than last year's, uh, or the, you know, the beginning of this year, I should say. Uh, but if you're using a, a flat or a round nose shovel in organic material, it's very hard to get it into the soil. And in fact, here, let me just show you. See, that just kind of bounces off the top. Isn't very efficient. That will wear you out, okay? Now, watch this. If you're doing a lot of organic material, this thing here goes in it like butter very easily. It is clean, it goes in. You pick up just as big a load, and in some cases even more than you can with the shovel. Uh, it doesn't all fall through, it all clumps together. And it's just moving compost. This is my primary tool. Now the reason why I have the straight edge shovel is as it's in my trailer, I can scoop from the bottom, which is flat on the bottom, the floor of the trailer. I can scoop and, and shovel really well. So it's about 10 of, either of these to fill the wheelbarrow, 10 wheelbarrows to make a yard. And uh, roughly, again, it's a broken, it's a rule of broken thumb. I, I have another one of those. Some of you tell me in the description uh, if you know what my other rule of broken thumb is. But uh, yeah, anyway, so definitely need more, but uh, we are getting ready. If, you, if you're familiar with the channel, we are getting ready for the big tree. I am so excited because we officially have approval from the city. Yes, we, uh, the city of Destin, you have to have a permit to get a big tree down. Uh, unless there's a few stipulations. This one is actually leaning toward my neighbor's house. And last thing I ever want to see is this thing doing some damage to property or people, worst of all. And so uh, we have a tree service coming in. Hopefully next week we got rain forecasted for the days that they're doing it, so we'll have to see uh, what happens. <laughs> yeah, but we're, I'm a little nervous, but um, anyway, this is just the first step. I can get the trailer um, put away. I've got another thing to do, and then 
Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera here just a little bit so you can see our trellis. And the, uh, the trellis here, you can see the large tree over here that we're taking down. Um, I'm going to, they're gonna be bringing some of these branches down. And so I'm, I've been studying this very carefully and I think I need to take down that cross piece back there, that cross piece back there, this cross piece. And so we'll just have a post here on its own. I'm gonna end up taking that post down. We'll stack it over here out of the way to make it easier uh, for the crew that's coming in. Um, it's, a, it's actually one of my neighbors. This happens to be a, a tree service. And I'm, I'm just thrilled to be um, supporting a local uh, person, local company. And uh, that's just, that, that's just you know, keeping, keeping it here local. And, and, you know, I very specifically told him, we're not looking for a deal. We just want to support local. And uh, he's a real nice guy. And I'm looking forward to seeing him. This really fascinates me taking down a tree this size. It's huge. At the base, it's over 11 feet around, uh, diameter of 11, over 11 feet. So it's a huge tree. And uh, I can't even reach around it uh, up higher. It's, it's like eight feet at five feet up. So yeah, it's huge, huge, huge tree. We have some massive uh, forking up here. Um, the danger is that um, these branches which are showing a lot of stress in the bark. If you, if you haven't gone back and looked at the uh, December, uh, it's not the December, the November uh, outer bed tour, uh, I talk about and show very carefully uh, the problem here. It's actually part of that is the video I sent to the city. Oh my goodness, Henderson is back. Oh, look at you big boy. You're such a good boy. So, yeah, we're very excited to have that tree down. That's just huge. Um, we've been, it's been kind of stressing me for over a year now, almost, uh, um, oh my, it is 14 months from today uh, that uh, we bought this property. And that was not the first time I saw the tree, but I was worried about it. But uh, anyway, so that's where we're at. We're filling beds getting ready for the new year. I've been checking my uh, garlic. If you've seen the uh, garlic growing, gar garlic planting video I did, 155 cloves of garlic. Uh, some right out here in this bed. Uh, nothing has popped up yet. I didn't expect it to. However, if we keep having good weather like this, I'm gonna be looking for it in about uh, maybe a little over a week. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, we might start seeing little green tips uh, in the next week or two. So. We're supposed to have really nice weather. It's very exciting. It's, it's Florida, folks. It's the Destin, Florida, the Panhandle of Florida. And uh, we are zone 8B, about one county away from zone 9 uh, and in that direction. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's winter. It's time to do stuff. I, I, oh, in fact, I see I got to get the rest of these uh, Blue Lake beans down because they are dried and shriveled and ready for seed. So we're gonna be planting those for our, for our uh, beans next year. But uh, yeah, the kale is good. Kale froze, got the sugars up in the leaves. It's really tasty. Uh, it's coming back real strong. Um, and just watch the uh, video tour. Uh, we're doing the, uh, I'm recording the outer beds tour next. There is a really cool thing in there uh, as far as what survived and what didn't because that's sort of the theme of this month uh, since it's after the Christmas freeze that we had. And yeah, so I will, I, I do plan to record video of this tree coming down. This is just really exciting. I'm planning to run a uh, extension cord out here, plug in the camera and make sure it's running and I'll, it'll probably be a fast video. But that fascinates me. It just, I just think it's the neatest thing watching them take down a tree. When I'm out on site watching that, I have to stop every time I see it and watching the people that are up there in the tree and carefully taking it apart, dismantling it. And uh, that's what they're gonna be doing. Oh yeah, I have to take down the fence back there too. But yeah, some of the trellis is going to disappear. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of work. I'm, I'm, uh, that stress stresses me just, a little bit but 
yeah so that's the plan folks again if you're watching along this far i appreciate you watching uh, if you haven't yet done so please subscribe to the channel uh, it really does help it's something free that you can do that uh, helps grow the channel and uh, if you saw anything informative or educational or helpful or just entertaining um, please click the thumbs up on this video it's uh, we talk mostly about gardening and sometimes about life and uh, uh, if you find any of this interesting come back if, you, if you're not subscribed and click the thumbs up and uh, share share with uh, your friends on social media uh, if, if you have anybody that might be interested in uh, seeing these so that's gonna be the video for today I don't know how long this is gonna be I notice I'm not saying this will be a short video anymore uh, because they all turn out to be pretty long I try to keep them between uh, 15 and 30 minutes mostly but uh, we will uh, oh yeah in fact the shovel thing that's for rocky rocky you tell me when you see this because uh you are you are whining at me for using a shovel on this stuff and uh now you see why um so the fork is way easier so yeah remember to tag rocky right here and uh, so i can't think of anything else and uh hope you have a happy new year it's gonna be a new happy new year for us hopefully with that tree coming down oh i just can't begin to tell you how exciting that is so as always the end of every video i like to say have a blessed day